Hello everyone! Here we are with a tutorial in English on request, on demand. <laughs> and on a, my last tutorial I um, explained it in Spanish, so now I'm doing the same but in English and with another shirt. So what we are doing lately is turning very big shirts or uh, yeah, shirts that we don't use anymore or that we find on the street or we buy second hand. Um, near my house there is a church and they sell second-hand clothes for two euros so I bought this very nice one and uh, what I did already is to cut it into pieces and out of a shirt we do a two pieces set skirt and top um, first thing is you have to measure here around 11 centimeters it's always more or less that size. It depends how short you want the top and how long you want the, sh the skirt, but of course it has to be a length that we can use it as skirt. And you have to consider that here you have to do this canal or this hem so you can put the elastic band inside. So let's think about the, the length. But um, my experience tell me that normally it's around 10, between 9 and 11 centimeters. Uh, on the upper part, um, I, I was the last ones I did, I was not doing a hem. Uh, I just le left them like that. I just did a seam here, one simple line or two with a double needle uh, to hold the fabric so it doesn't go away with the time so much. Uh, but I like it to be like that, you know, like it depends on the material you can choose, otherwise, you can make a hem like a small one, like maybe half centimeter with the sewing machine. And for the lower part, we need to make, uh, it depends on the elastic. Um, as I said before, the best is to use like a two centimeters or 1.5 centimeters elastic for the waist. And then you need like 2.5 or two centimeters canal here or hem. Uh, you sew it and you leave a, a little piece open and you're going to help yourself with one of these pulling the um, elastic inside and when you have pulled it inside you have, have uh, sew the you sew the, the elastic the, the endings and then you close the seam um, before all that you're always gonna find a button that is always gonna be bothering. So this, we take it away. We use this normally. You take it away, otherwise uh, scissors, whatever. And once you take this button off, then you need to close what is now gonna be a skirt. So you need to make, make a seam here to close it, to keep it close. Maybe not the whole way, maybe up to here, you leave a little, piece open, I, I, it's up to you, but uh, after you take this button and you do the seam, then we do the canal for the elastic and that's the most complicated part, the rest is very simple. And now I'm going to show you one that it's already finished. The best is to use uh, shirts, like if you use a men's shirt, it's nice, the contrast, the contrast because you have a men's shirt that now it's a, a little bit more feminine piece. Uh, so we are mixing uh, genders and I like that. Um, but it has to be like bigger than your size, of course. Like if you are, I don't know, 38, then try to find a, a, a shirt that is 42, 44. The bigger, the better, because it's going to be like... The, the idea is to have it like oversized style, but short, the top is short and you need enough material to make the skirt. So here you can see the seam to hold the material, but it's not really a hem. It's just one simple seam and you can see that it's not a hem and it's like everything is hanging. I like it like that. And then this is the uh, part with the elastic, the button is away already, take it off and of course for the length of the elastic you have to measure your own measurements, your own body 
uh, your waist or your hip. It depends where you want to use it, how, how, um, how you want to use the skirt. And remember, like if you are, I don't know, let's say 65 or 70 um, in, your, in your waist or your hip or more, uh, you always cut two centimeters.